Hello, hello, everyone. Welcome back to the stream. One thing that I need to mention right now is uh, my model has apparently lost all movement of left and right. I'm trying to move. You can see I'm moving a little bit, but not as much as I used to. I don't know what happened. I literally did nothing. Um, I don't know if it was a YouTube studio update or something, but just noticed it right as I was uh, starting up the stream. So, yeah, I'll deal with that at a different time. Regardless, we're jumping right back into Minecraft. Today. And uh, to catch you all up, if you remember, we mined a lot. We were able to do some stuff. And what I ended up doing is I got the mob spawner going, the mob grinder, I should say. Got a lot of stuff, got a lot of levels. And I will show you it here as we load in. So let's go ahead and start this baby up. And I'll kind of show you the, the, the thing for it here. We did a number of things. First of all, I also have the, the mob, the hostile mob sounds turned off. So as you can see, I have a uh, area world mobs gather here. I let them build up. So I you guys. I moved the uh, shaman table thing down here. Since I needed the books, I also had to move the books. I didn't. The books limit how many different enchantments and stuff you can put on uh, on this enchantment table. Anyway. So as you can see, I got a lot of flesh here. I'm gonna take these, 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 that stuff. Give me the flesh too. Wait, I swear to God, one of those said 65, didn't it? Seeing things. You know what? Put this stuff back. I'll just take the rotten flesh. We can trade it to the cleric, you know? Grab everything I can here. Perfect. We'll take the iron and all that, you know? So anyway, I made uh, some hoppers here that they fall on too. I got the, the normal chests uh, fill up with the hopper stuff as one does, right? And up here, we have the waystone. So as you can tell, the, uh, the spawner is in this room encased in black with the, uh, the water that pushes the mobs down here. And one thing I had to do was change the entity, like, hill uh, enclosement thing. There's a, there's a thing called uh, entity cramming that happens, and it's usually set to, like, 24. If there's 24 entities in one square or one block, uh, they'll start to suffocate if that happens, right? Uh, I changed that because 24 is, of course, just a small amount and if I wanted to AFK and get experience um, and come back, you know, an hour later, it would still only be 24 at the most. So I changed it to 200 entities. And as you can see, if you look down one, two, three, four, five lines um, from the upper left, there's an E marker. And that E is entities. And as you can see, it's 152 out of 250 and uh, of 215, I should say. The, the number on the right is the entities that are around me, um, not necessarily the ones I'm looking at. But if I'm looking at it, the number on the left changes. So as you can see, I'm looking this way, which means the way the camera is pointed, there's 150 entities currently right here. Uh, so let's turn that off, and I can just go ahead and sweep with my sword. I don't know where that chicken came from, but as you can see, they all died. A bunch of stuff dropped, and the experience just flowing in. So I was level 17, but as we wait, you can see it starts filling up, and I'm still just collecting all this experience. We're gonna get really, really high here. 25. Might get 10 levels out of this. And keep in mind, as you level up, it's harder to get more levels, right? Still going. 28. I can do that and get 29 as well. So we get roughly 10 plus levels, depending upon what level we are. Um, of course, if I do it now, I'll get less levels. But we can come over here and chat our stuff. As you can see, 
all my stuff's already enchanted with the, the best enchants I could get. Um, I have Unbreaking, Protection 4, uh, Aqua Affinity, Respiration Helmet. Got my Unbreaking 3, Protection 4, Chest Piece. I have Unbreaking 3, Projectile Protection 4, Leggings for those damn skeletons. Then I got Feather Falling, Unbreaking, Protection, and Death Strider on my boots. I also went ahead and enchanted a new diamond shovel with this, as you can see, efficiency, a fortune, and all that. Also made the axe. Well, well we already had the axe to begin with. Uh, I made a diamond sword so I could, you know, sweep the... Use, like, sweeping edge and stuff, because it, it helps killing 150 monsters in a square, rather than having to target them one at a time with the axe. And, of course, we have our pickaxe that we had before. Let's see here. Um... Speaking of, I would like to kill a couple more here. Just use this experience to repair the pickaxe a little bit here. And then we have, of course, our infinity power unbreaking bow that we have there. All right, so what we're going to do now, come over here to our waystone. We're going to go home. And basically, I just wanted to show you me, show you me killing all of the uh, zombies and stuff that were there to show you how quickly I could get the experience to just AFK and uh, do that good stuff. So that's how I was able to enchant all this. And I, of course, I used all of our diamonds. We had two stacks before, right? As you can see, we have less now because I used them up. Um, but yeah, that is basically what happened between then and now. So let me get. Where's my boat? Don't I, didn't I have a boat? Oops, didn't want to do that. I can just make one. But I'm out of wood, so never mind. Where is my boat? I know I made one, right? Weird. Anyway, uh, I was going to grab my mending book. Where was the chat? There it is. Just for stuff to trade with villagers. All right, so grab our mending books. Go over here to the anvil. Um, take off our armor first of all. We'll do the armor first. Let's get our chest plate with mending. We can get our leggings with mending. That's all we can do for right now. So let's just put everything back on. All right, so we need to get some books. We need to get our emeralds. Let's go. Now I have some more books here. 29 books should be more than enough. And let's go ahead and grab this stuff. Excellent. All right, now let's go to our village with the mending villagers, and we can go ahead and trade with them. We get more mending books and finish off our armor. Then we can continue exploring or doing whatever we want, really. Um, did I show you guys that I finished this? I think we did that like right before we ended the stream last time, right? Where we finished off separating everyone out. I seriously thought I had a boat somewhere over here. Oh, it's in my inventory. I am blind. Never mind. Ow. All right. Go we'll plop that bad boy down and just start going towards the village. So, all this rotten flesh can be used to trade for the clerics who will give us, you know, emeralds, which is great. And it'll be helpful. Yeah, how it is. All right. And then we won't really have to trade with villagers anymore, because in uh, vanilla Minecraft enchantments, there's really no reason to get anything else other than, you know, the, the mending book. I'm sure I can trade with them for other things that they have, but they, again, don't really have anything else that's all that good, do they? Now that I think about it, the, uh, the villagers tend to just have garbage trades, unless you need, like, wool, maybe. But do I really need wool? Not really. All right, let's jump up here. Hello, Iron Golem. Bye, Iron Golem. Ow. All right, so let's head on over to here. We can interact with our lovely trading post. Found out you can type in here, so that, so we don't have to 
scroll through a bunch of stuff. 31 rotten flesh for a uh, emerald. Not bad, considering the rotten flesh is useless. Uh, stone. You can trade stone for emeralds now as well. There we go. I guess I can, get, I can get more redstone and glowstone from the trades, you know? But. Okay, where's our mending boy at? Also, I put down a chest here that has more rotten flesh and stone in it. And also my emeralds, because, yeah. Go ahead and finish trading for more, uh, these. There we go. Just plenty of that. Okay. I guess I'll just take the rest of the stone. <clears throat> I don't know how much I can trade with. Okay. There we go, mending boys in uh, range now. So that's uh, helmet, boots, uh, the sword, and the shovel. Right? Can't put it on the bow, so that doesn't matter. My shield has it, right? Shield already has it, so that's that, 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 and that, and that's everything with mending, right? So I think I will. Here's the guys. Why do they, like, insist on not being close enough for me to use, huh? Okay, come here, mending boys. You're the infinity guy, which I don't care about. You're mending, okay. Let me just... Take a bunch more. There we go. Okay. I'll do that. And that way, I have some extras. I don't remember if... Yeah, I don't remember. I'm going to put down a waystone here as well. Let me be a good place. Right here, maybe? I'm going to go book village. Just call it book village. That's fine. All right. I do want my boat back, though. So I will go over here. A little bit of a thing here to jump over onto. There we go. Now, if we want to come back, we can just use the teleporter real quick. But yeah, no, I got more mending books just in case, because I don't remember fully if when you upgrade the netherite, if it keeps your enchantments or not. If it does, perfect. If not, well, that sucks. Yeah, so for right now, we have the best gear we can possibly have. We just simply need to get a hold of netherite, netherite scraps and all that, in order to create better armor and upgrade it and all that. We also need gold to make the netherite uh, ingots, but that's a whole different matter, so that's fine and dandy. So, we can either explore around a little, or we can go to the nether. We haven't been to the nether yet, so that's uh, another thing. But I think we'll Consider what to do here after I finish enchanting the stuff here. Also, I, I did not do much else for building. I just really built in the, uh, the mob spawner and whatnot. So I can see nothing's really changed with uh, anything around here. All right, so let's take this off. All right, there we go. Everything has mending now. Perfect. Toss all my books in there. Toss in here. Of course, we have a, a problem with now we have a sword. I'm also going to throw my extra arrows in here. I don't need them. Okay. So, let's see. What do I want to do now? Um, maybe we do go into the nether 
So let's go ahead and grab some obsidian. Let's grab our flint and steel. And I think we're good, because that way, if we get stranded in the nether because of a gas, or if we just want to leave the nether, we can just do it real quick-like, right? We don't have to worry too much about um, finding stuff. As you can see, the, the nether portal has continued to spread a little bit. There's more quartz around here. Let's go into the nether. Yeah. Yeah, no matter how far away we travel now, we'll be able to uh, create another portal and advance my sword. Oh, that would have just been awkward if I would have thrown this sword off of the, uh, the edge somewhere, wouldn't it have? All right. Um, sword? 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 Oh, what the hell? That's awkward. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Okay, I guess we don't have a sword anymore. Well, we can just re-enchant one and use one of our mending books for that then. I, uh, I guess it did not like the fact that we threw it before everything loaded in. Unfortunate. If I mine this, they get pissed, right? No? Okay. I don't think it really damaged much. I'm gonna re-put the axe first because uh, that way I don't mess up that. Oh god, more lava. Let's swap out the nether rack for that real quick. Like, is that the source block? Oh, it is. Let me get rid of that. So we have a forest here. Look at the map. Oh my god, I can look at the map in the nether. It's a Christmas miracle. So looks like we got a sandstone, not sandstone, a Soul sand area over here? I think that's a soul sand over here. Uh, we appear to have... Is that a bastion right here? I think it might be. Let's set a waypoint there. Um, I think this is one of those basalt uh, things there. We also have whatever this is, which could also be a bastion-like thing. What else do we got around here? Or is that just another... I think that's just a forest, yeah. Let's delete that. I don't need that one there. Looks like we have some sort of fortress-looking thing here, so let's make a waypoint there. Um, look at all this, like, tunnel stuff. It's crazy. Have another fortress there. This could also be some sort of fortress. So let's just set a waypoint there. Anything else to the south? Doesn't look like we have anything to the south. This kind of looks like a stomach right here. Peace. If you flip it to the uh, other side, um, there's what looks like things here, I guess. Another little chunk there that looks like something. Maybe those are like pillars for another fortress. You know. All right, so where are we at? We're pretty much in the center of uh, everything important. So what we could do is we could go this way, explore that, and hit up this another fortress. And then if that doesn't pan out with much. We can go to these areas as well. It's kind of loop around. Um, let me make first portal. We'll just call it there, and that'll be F for portal. Okay. So we have 300, 300, 200. So this one is closest, of course. I'm so used to uh, the mod that makes big men mad at you when you mine ore. I think it's like nether ore or something. I guess they don't care on this one. Ah yes, the old barely click with your pickaxe and the nether rack just bursts into flames. Love it. Well, that was all connected underground, huh? What's really nice is that the uh, gold and nether rack Shoot, I want to do that. Gold and nether rack are really densely packed with experience. So you can very easily repair pretty much anything you have here in the nether. Very nice. Excuse me. Excuse me, pig zombies. Okay. 
Let us continue onward. Anything else I want to repair? I hope my armor's fully repaired and everything, so... Perfect. I don't really think I need to collect any wood here or anything. The, the trees do look neat, but not a whole lot. I don't think... This is another warp block, right? I can't make it into another warts, right? Yeah. I can't make it. Yeah, doesn't do anything. I can, I guess, compost the nether wart block, but it's like that you can make the nether warts into that block, but you cannot make that block into the warts. That's, I guess, one thing I want to get is some nether wart in order to make potions. Although, do I really need to make potions? The answer is no, of course. We're already fairly strong just because of our diamond armor and stuff, but. And even if we do die or something, it's not going to be like the end of the world. Because we respawn with everything, so... I was holding down till day. Well, this is not the way I want to go, so let's go here. I'm just kind of mining everything as I go. No, let me put my axe in my offhand. I can get it repaired. There we go. Done. What took one? Okay. Well, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. I forget what this first marker initially was. Yeah, it's just like this uh, basalt, like dark looking blotch on the map. It didn't really make sense being in this particular area. Ow. We shall see what it is. Go. Getting real close. All right, I think I will just use some. Go and oh, it is a fortress of what it looks like. Wait, did I just get nether? Oh my god. I just got netherite scrapped by uh mining nether rock. Oh there. How are you? Isn't there more gold inside of these? Oh there was. Oh well. Okay, well, we have our first fortress here. be fun. Well, not a fortress, I guess. It's uh, Bastion, what it's called, right? I always forget. I don't want to go down there quite yet. Take out the archer first. That'd be great. Golden helmet. I forget, do the, do the piglins not attack you if you're wearing a piece of gold? Is is that their deal? Hmm. Doesn't matter too much. Got him. Easy peasy. Go ahead and put some up there so I can get past it quite easily. There might not actually be anything on this one. At least around here. Hmm. Okay, I might have to go up higher. That area. Yeah, seems like it. I'm looking for any holes here, making sure I'm not gonna fall or anything. Okay. Let us go up higher. Go 
go. We're into a room of some sort up here, at least. All right. Excellent. I don't think there's really anything right here, though. Let's go back in here. Cool, we got some of those hanging lanterns there. Oh, there's a treasure chest. One of them, anyway. Um, we have fire protection, fire protection, a lodestone. What's a lodestone for? Do you do anything with this? I'll take it. For right now. The arrows, too. Why not? Let me see, what is a lodestone? Let me do that. Minecraft lodestone. What does it do? What does it do? Those from the block can be used to alter compasses to point towards it. Oh, it can be used in all three dimensions. I gotcha. So it's worthless. Back into the chest with you. Okay. If I look at the map real quick, is there anything else that's like around me that's of any important lookingness or anything like that? Bastion didn't really have good generation to it. I'll save that much. Does look like there's more stuff over this way, maybe? Up? Down? I don't... Well, that way. If I just... I'll look to the right. Think. Oops. That sent me down. Okay. Um. Unfortunate. Well, I think this bastion was a bust. So let's change our thing into a tunnel. Where was the next thing? Over here, right? That was the. There. So let's go ahead and just boop. And boop. Oops. Oh, crap. I'm okay. I survived. Always got to be ready on that. Okay. Fortunate. All right. Let's be careful where we walk this time. You there, Piglin. I want to get away from the Bastion a little bit, I think. Interesting rounded room, okay. Alright, let us continue going down this way. Uh, let's go ahead and toss this piece away. Empty our inventory real quick. Get rid of the that, this, that, okay, okay, I should be able to just plug this hole real quick, wait for the lava to go down, hmm, yes, of course. You know what, it might actually be faster to not use Vein Mine or Ultra Mine with uh, another rack. Because I feel like holding it down and being precise uh, actually takes longer, if I'm being honest. And it does just like walking forward. How's it going, Pseudo Enderman? Make your way through the Nether Rack. There's a ledge. Across there? Alright. 
All right, we're outside. Go ahead and toss some more stuff out. Yeah, we go. Let's get rid of all this. Perfect. All right. I'll just build right across here, it looks like. I'm doing pretty all right as well. All right, let's build that there. Currently looking for interesting stuff, like the nether fortress over here. Uh, there was a magma cream. That doesn't drop actual slime. All right, let's go this way. Drop down. Oh. Oh, I forgot one thing. Hold on. I forgot to turn back on hostile mob sounds. Here we go. Okay. Got some withers up there. Excellent. Um, maybe the best approach. Maybe if we go around this way. with the lava man. Okay. Uh, it's here. Wait, up, up, up. <clears throat> I really like this biome, but it's also so hard to progress through it. Oh. Go and over here and here. We just drop down right here. Or just climbing it by doing this. Actually, if I switch to my big tunnel. Take some easy stairs here. Top of the fortress now. I'm not real quick, throw away some salt. Yeah, why does lava have to be so hot? No sense. Where'd that skeleton go? It was like right there. Did he fall off? Okay. Well. Whatever. We got a here, place over there. I wonder much else is on top of here. Almost skeletons, huh? Get you go. All right. Got him, easy peasy. Rather not get withered, so let's not do that. Ah, there's so many blaze spawners like right next to each other. Ah, I got withered. Really? 
Easy. Alright, let's see. Kind of a big area over here. Take a look at that at some point. Of course, the skeleton came behind me. Four blaze rods. Good. We can get more if we need them too. Let's see. The first. seen a single treasure chest yet, huh? Usually they're in this bendy's hallway. Bendy, bendy hallways. Hmm. Okay. Come back, I guess. That way. Is this a dead end? I think it is. Okay. Bring around. Just like a little bit of another warp, please. Thank you. Is that? That's just be back up there. This lead. To a dead end, it looks like, although. Ah, no, I've been here. Okay. Well, shoot. There's down on both sides here. Ooh, a chest. There we go, finally. A couple of chests, to be honest. Let's get rid of the fences. Game things. Okay. How about this chest? What do you got in you, huh? More gold, I'll take that. Ooh, another warp. There we go, got what we needed. Now as long as I get soul sand, I can make an infinite source of them. Easy peasy, all right. Well, I guess let's go kill a couple more blaze. Yeah, I guess, I guess all the loot chests ran to these uh, little corners here, huh? I'll head downstairs. Check out this area. I was blocking. Come on. That's just rude. Oop, here we go. I almost hit that guy. Sorry, pig. Go. Here we go. Pick this up. Go with that. Easy. Go. Throw that stuff away. All right, so we got some nether sand, full sand. And we got some nether wart so I can grow muscle sand. I think we're done here. I just want to get a couple more blaze rods, because I think four times two is eight. I'll need a couple more to make the Eyes Avenger, just to be safe. That was a dead end, right? Okay. You blazy boys, spawn so I can kill you. Come on. All 
Why are they over there? What? Ow! That was rude. I'm gonna get this water off my hotbar for now as well. Sons of bitches. Six. Hey, I say go, uh, X -C. How do you want your name pronounced? All right, let's take these guys out. There and there and there. All right. Maybe some more blaze will spawn here now, maybe. Or they're gonna spawn down below for some reason. There we go. Go back. I'm gonna get twelve blaze rods. Eight. More than, huh? I'm behind to blow this thing, huh? Go. Okay, let us actually do something here real quick. Spawn yet? Nope. There we go. Didn't get the roof up yet, though. Where's the other one go? But yeah, you at. Okay, let's finish the roof real quick, like. Seems that's a brick. Easily escape from me. Lucky shot, man. How dare you? That's good enough. Okay. Let's eat a little bit. Can't get away now, can you? Does this have looting on it? No. I don't think you can put looting on an axe. That's unfortunate. Only my sword didn't get dropped and disappear when we came to the nether. Ah, oh, that was awful. Eight and eight is 16 of these, right? Yeah. 16 is good enough? I don't know. I'll wait for the next spawn and see if we can get anything else. If we can't, we'll leave. Come on. Spawn. Spawn for me. As soon as I go to, like, eat. They did it. How dare you. There we go, one more. Two more, perfect. You know what? I think 20 will be good. We only need, like, what, 9 for the actual, or eight for the portal, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, 11, 12. We need 12 for the portal. So we have 20, we have eight spares, so that'll work, I think. Okay, well, let's move over towards here then. See what all, I think this is actually just another fortress too, huh? Never mind then. Um. Is that anything? I don't think it is. 
That up here looks like a bastion thing, though, right? What else we got close by? We don't have to go all the way back that way, huh? Oh, uh, there's another another fortress here. Judging by that and these. I don't really see anything else, though. Hmm. Map makes it real nice. Your stuff's at. Okay. I guess our only possible bastion we have on the map right now is back up here to the white waypoint, so why not? It's only uh, 8,000 blocks away. Or 800, whatever. Extra zero. All right. I don't have any blocks to build with. Well, in that case, let's go over here and just find out this wall. Well, that was unfortunate. Try this wall. Okay, that's better. Thank you. <clears throat> Bye. Alright, I'd like to be not on fire now. Thank you. I can go over here and grab that, uh, Blaze Rod, too. Please. There we go. Excellent. Then over that way. So let's go ahead and build this way, I guess. Unk, unk. I like the sound that it makes when you place these down. Real like hefty metallic. Okay. We're in a good enough spot now, so let's just jump down here. We'll make our way as close as we can towards that area without having too many problems, hopefully. I'm not going to worry too much about getting glowstone since it can be easily made through villager trades now. Ow. Hey, it's the uh, burn patience. How are you doing, sir? Hmm. How much I can really do here, but. Two. That gold. Oh. Well, rip that gold, I guess. Turn it around this edge here. This way. We've already made a progress of 300 blocks. Nice. Not bad. Run a little low on, uh... We got some piglins over there, huh? Okay. That sword's better, sir. Alright, moving on. I forget what trades with you. Is it the, it's the piglins, right? They trade with you? Or is it the zombie pigment? Or is there a third group of pig things? You can try with a piglin if you have gold on, right? It's been a minute. Not like it really matters, because I don't really have anything that I want anyway. So, you know, I swear to God, I, I installed a mod called Nether Ores, which was supposed to add more ores to the nether. But uh, apparently it's either not working, or it was one that I had to remove due to uh, it just not working. A little bit surely making our way towards this area. Let's 
Let's uh, get rid of these bones. That. Perfect. I'm surprised I haven't mined into, like, a block of lava yet. Like, they've been, like, at ground level or lower. All things considered. I'm pretty lucky. Oh, there we go. There's one. I'm actually surprised I managed to, uh, plug that hole. Usually I don't get that lucky. Still 400 blocks away. Be nice if I hit a cave or an opening here soon. Although that goes backwards, so that doesn't help us too much. There we go. That kind of helps. I'll use this chance to heal my pickaxe a bit. Dump some of the stuff that I do not need. Get rid of the blocks. There we go. Heard a ghast. It is just so easy to fill up on garbage, ain't it? Look at that. There we go. I won't pick up any unnecessary blocks. Oh, well, surely we're getting our way down there. Just be a bastion over here we can go to as well. Although at this point I think we're pretty well same distance from both. Yeah, I was a little closer, but we're already heading this direction. I thought for a second that was a uh, lava, and I was gonna back up real quick. Just a. Bunch of magma blocks, huh? Golly. I think I need to get some altitude, though. Because I think if I mine out this way, I'm going to just run into lava. below the lava lake right now. Sort of concerning that I don't know. Go ahead and mine out this way. Let's go around the magma cubes. Okay. Well, let's uh, take a moment here. Eat a little bit of this. Get back our hunger, and then we can kind of walk over this way. We'll have to go further north and hit either one of these places. So, nice and easy for us to just gain some ground and not have to mine here. I think that was an Enderman down there. Straight into it. Let's go. Nice and easy. Right into it all. Go. We are less than 200 meters out now. This is a predicament. Uh, we go this way. Hmm. 
Perhaps not. Hell. If only there were like lava boats, that'd be cool. There's the uh, lava strider guys, but I think I need a saddle for them. Huh? Oh, I thought more I'm gonna fall down from that. Well, whatever. Can I reach there? I cannot. So let's go ahead and build. Okay. Back to this. Wow, it's, it's really not wanting me to make any progress here. I guess I'll just build straight over to that island, huh? That should get us pretty close to where we want to go. Okay, now we should be able to just run for a little bit, I say, seeing a wall right in front of me. Are there any tunnels or anything around here? It looks like no, but maybe. Out of the way, please, another warp block. Thank you. Yeah, okay, okay. So we got some piglins over here. Let's take them out. I don't want to build a cross while they're there because they might just shoot me into the lava. Okay. All right, I forgot to do this. Yeah? You want to hit and run, huh? Where'd you go? Is there... A shot that works. Okay. Um. Easy peasy. Now right, let's get on this bastion or this whatever it is. One of the gatehouse ones, it looks like. Come here, you. There's a big one. Yeah, just stare at me from down there. Be a chest over there. Perfect. Be a chest over there as well. I hate how broken these always are. It'd be cool to find like a an intact bastion or something, right? That's right. You die. Go uh, over here a little bit. Okay. I think I'll keep my bow out for right now. The top floor. Looks like there's nothing here, though. Don't see any treasure chests anywhere interesting. Build this guy. Maybe, there we go. I think I can hit him too. Perfect. Okay. There's no one else now. I'm here. Easy peasy. Man, I remember on my first hardcore playthrough when I got to a bastion and just like died. I fell into a hole being chased by a bunch of guys. It's not great. Luckily, we're not on hardcore now, so it's good. Be careful of holes here, though. Nothing here, it looks like. Bacon here from. Looks like this might have been a table for the. Thingies at some point, huh? Oops. Yeah. Gotta be careful of the uh, pigs here, because they'll push you off the edge. They have a chance. If we're not getting anywhere here, maybe we should just drop down the lower levels, huh? Oops. Okay. That would have sucked if I would have dropped all the way down, because that was lava down there. Mm -hmm. 
Can you knock back too? Want some? Huh? Yeah, you don't want none of this. Got him. Here, an Enderman taking damage. Fine with me. Move over here. Go. I am quick lag. I was gonna fall in there for a second. All the treasure at the bottom on this one. A bizarre place to have it. I know I saw two treasure chests down on this side. No lower than me, so. What is the layout of Bastion? Oh, there. A little piglin riding a little pig. Funny. Come here. Think you can run from me? Huh? He run away. I don't care. Is that a treasure chest over there? Loot. You loot. Oh. Oh, he's gone. Um, I'm breaking one. Gilded blackstone. Is that any use? Gilded blackstone. Nope, has no use. Okay. So I don't need anything in this chest. I'm just going to break it, so it doesn't distract me. Okay. Check the rest of this floor, because if there was a treasure chest on that level, there might be one over here too, maybe? <clears throat> Looks like the answer is no. What about this side, though? We have some people over here. You down there? I think I don't see you. Huh? Hiding behind blocks now, sir? There you go. There he is. Go. Come on. Where are you hiding at, huh? <clears throat> I think I can get down from up here, right? Pointing over here. Out of here, kid. Chiseled pig stone. Okay, well. I hate how they take forever to fire their crossbows. I never know when I'm like safe to attack and safe to not. I'm not safe to attack. Anyway, moving down here. Because there should be another treasure chest over on this side, right? There it is. Mm -hmm. Oh, it seems like a hot one's not here. It's an aisle right damn. Here. Hogland kid, what are you thinking, huh? You need to attack me and walk away, huh? That's your mama's dead? Okay, that's great. Um, don't really need any of this. <coughs> Take that though, let's just pop that chest. All right, anything down here on this level? Ow, rude. Over here looking at stuff and just over there being a jerk. I'll just shoot with an arrow. I don't care, man. I'm gonna play fair. All right. Any other treasure down on this level? I don't see any. All right. 
Yep. I think I have everything now. So let's go search that other area. Oop. That was up here. Oh, you came back, huh? I think you can finish the job, huh? What's wrong? You take a little bit of damage, you run away? Get out of here. All right. Up here we go. Hello, Mr. Endyman. Don't mind me, just walking past. I definitely hear more oinking from up here. Yeah, I can't tell if they're above or below. Probably above, huh? Oh, gods. Crits on. If only I still have my sword. Actually, why don't I just shoot my bow? Careful, uh, piglin zombie. If you get in my way, I'm gonna hurt you. Okay, well, that's that then, huh? Excellent. We got a friend coming up with me, huh? They were all in this like little area here, huh? Why? Because there was four gold blocks here, they were up here. Is that it? Is there any more up here? Fuck now. Exactly. Oh, the chests. Hold up. <clears throat> Hello there. Okay, we got a golden sword. We got some chains, some golden carrots, bones. Honestly, not a whole lot that I care about. What about this chest? We got Bane of Arthropods, Curse of Vanishing, Sweeping Edge, more bones, more arrows, um, banner things. Uh, man, we got nothing, huh? <clears throat> now to banner pattern, huh? Can't even stack them. Well, is there anything else here? I don't think there's anything else in this path, right? This is like the, the highest point, or it's supposed to be the highest point, right? If I just dig up from here. Oh, a lot of that up there, huh? Hello, anyone up here? Any materials or anything, I guess? Like it. I think that's the end, huh? Okay. Well. Oop. Oh, ow. Okay. That, that one finished. Uh, uh, yeah. I think that's going to be everything. Okay. Okay, okay. Go ahead and eat a little bit. And let's go ahead and do this. And then feel please. Have that one to put there. Come on. Really? Boop. And boop. Alright. Back we go.
do corrupted energy swirling around. There you go. All right, where am I at? Ah, I spawned near a village. That's interesting. Now, considering how far I traveled, I got to be pretty far away from my home, huh? Yep. Actually, not that far, I guess, huh? Oi. Oi. You want to try to me, huh? Think you can just come over here and throw a trident at me? I thought for a second he dropped a trident, and I was going to be like, what? The first one I killed dropped a trident? Alright. Well. Let's hop over here to the village quick. Excuse me, I'm gonna take a nap quick. There's monsters nearby. What are y'all looking at, huh? It's almost morning, ain't it? Whatever. Out of the way. Taking a nap. Okay. Do you guys have a waystone here? You say waystone? Oh my god, is that a blacksmith? Hold on. Hey, yo, is this a blacksmith? The first one I've ever seen in 1.19? Looks like it. Hey, yo, Lamau. Nice. Not that it really matters, but I find it funny. Okay. Do I crash? I don't crash. Yay. I'm at Azure Room. That's a cool name. Just no. What do we got in the radius of this map here, anyway? We got nothing really. Nothing at all. Well. Oh, wait, we got that. I might go check that out next. To be honest, another village over there. Great waypoint. Azure Rune Village, just so I have a, a waypoint where that is at. Okay, well, let's go back home. Uh, home. For three experience. All right. Go back down here. If I make a quartz block, can I turn it back into quartz? I cannot. Oh, that sucks. I can, however, make a gold ingots, though. There we go. Little blocks, there we go. Does quartz even have a use other than blocks? I guess I can make an observer, which I don't care about. I can, for some reason, oh yeah, you can make diorite and granite based in quartz and stuff, huh? Oh, I can make a daylight sensor, which serves absolutely no purpose. So, yeah, not really. I can just throw it all into bricks. Cool. Is it just me, or does a smooth quartz block look exactly like a block of quartz? There we go. All right, let's toss this stuff into this chest. Throw that there, that there. Do that, this stuff away. Put my nether wart here along with the soul sand. So let's get rid of the there. Okay. This um let's see. Nether right is made with four and four. Okay. I guess let me get these quick and I'll make that real quick life. I can make three of them. Excellent. 
Okay. Store that. Store the scrap there. What do I need to do to make? Oh, it's really just one to one, huh? Okay. I don't even increase the damage all that much. It's like barely an increase. I guess it gets knockback resistance. That's another right, huh? Actually, it just gets armor toughness and knockback resistance. That's all it gets, huh? Okay. Well. Um. So I need a smithing table. Oops. Smithing table, iron and wood. Iron. I don't have any wood right now, so let's go grab some. And I fell in the water. That's how it goes. Okay. Oop. Oop. I'll just cut down this random jungle tree here. All right. Let's start by getting up here. Back across. Turn all that into that. That and that. Cooking table can go right here. All right, so question, if I do this and that, it's still uh, enchanted. Excellent. Okay, let's do that then. Um, if I do this with my axe, it does increase the damage, huh? Okay, let's do that too. Do I want to do it with a piece of armor? Is netherite used for anything else other than upgrading stuff? I guess you can make a netherite mob catcher, but that's just a modded thing. Oh my god, the reason I needed this, I forgot to make the arcane infuser, which doesn't really matter to be honest at this point. I can make a lodestone. That's just all this stuff. Okay. So yeah, basically just upgrades. Okay. What do I use my last piece on? I could put it on my shovel. I could get a piece of armor upgraded. Hmm. What to do? What to do? I could make a sword. I might actually make a sword quick. To be honest. All right. Diamond sword. We'll make it into netherite. Easy peasy. Next, we will go to our zombie spawner. Ow. Come on, load, please. Go. Store this stuff here real quick. There we go. Okay. All right. What all can I put on this baby right now? Of course, that I'm breaking. Of course, that. Of course, that. Oh, sweet. Yeah, the perfect thing. There we go. All I needed. All right. But. We want to get some more levels here so we can put mending on this thing as well. It's gonna be a good weapon. Love an attack. Huh. So sharpness increases it by quite a bit, actually. So it has 11 attack now compared to 8 at the base. So oh, highest level of sharpness increases that much, huh? Sharpness 5 increases by 3. Okay. Let's see, I need two experience levels to get back. So I'll need a little bit more. I'll just kind of chill here for a moment. <laughs> Let's see. 
what else do we have that's fancy? Anything fancy? The warp scrolls, of course. That stuff. We have water. Oh my god, that's so posh. What does a share stone do? Share stones, a new type of waystone that allows teleportation to other share stones of its color without requiring prior activation. Ah. That's whatever. Let's see, what else do we got here? What is a warp plate? Warp plate, a new block that can be connected to another warp plate to allow teleportation by simply stepping on it. Huh. It's a little fancy, I guess. I really need though. Um, we got the Ender Ring. Fire Ender Chests. Mm. I don't want to waste my time on those right now. Drink those. Sandy Waste Stones. And we got all the different Furnish stuff. Oh my god, I forgot I have a freaking tool belt. I forgot that I can just press V, or is it V? X, no? What button is it? Hold on. Options, controls, keybinds. What was it at? Tool belt. Swap tool is R. Uh, right. So I can just put my tools in here. I want to. I have two slots currently on them. And I don't have to have them stored here. So let's look at those guys. They're getting annoying. This is why I had hostile mob sounds turned off. Bye bye. There's definitely more than enough. So let's go continuing on. Back to home and we'll put mending on this baby. Um, next home. Okay. What do I need to make the tool belt pouches? I need gold, string, and that. So let's grab a mending book. Not that. One. Boop. Boop. Sword of Reaping. Joint. My anvil broke. Okay, well. Did not expect that. That is okay. I'll make a new one. String and leather. I should have a bunch of string and leather, right? Yeah. Not a bunch, I guess, but I have some. All right. First, we'll make some ingots. And we'll make some golden ingots. And we'll make three blocks of iron. We'll make an anvil. And then we'll make a bunch of pouches. One, two, three. I'm going to put this stuff back. Go. Drop this baby here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and actually swap my tools out. Just in case doing the tool belt upgrade. Oh, it costs five now, huh? Okay, well, hold that thought then. Let me, uh, go breed some animals real quick. I'll at least put another one on. Hello, animals. Hey, chickens. Come, chickens. Come, chickens. 
give you some seeds. You like that, don't you, huh? Next up, cow or pigs. Look. Here you go, boys. Eat up. Don't need to take care of myself, come on. I'm not a pig. I'm not gonna breed with them. Alright. There we go. Now then back to the ship. We're gonna enchant the tool belt. Not that I think it would do anything, but okay. That was V, right? All right, now I think I can put my bucket, my axe, my shovel, and my pickaxe in there, and then I can still put my sword in there too if I wanted. Oh, my bow in there? I can. Ooh. Can I put torches in there? Nope. Just that. Okay. One sec. Doesn't seem like I can enchant the tool belts, which is unfortunate, but that's fine too. All right. What else do we have here that we could make or work towards getting? It's frog, frog light. Yeah, there's frogs, aren't there, in swamps and stuff? Torchmaster, frozen pearl. What are these for? Clears residual lights from a feral flare lantern? What is a feral flare lantern? Places invisible lights. Oh, okay. Then we got prevents natural spawning of, of passive animals like squids, bats, or ocelots in a big area around the lamp. That's cool. Looks like the Magnum Torch. Except different. Uh, echo shard used for recovery compass. Okay. Don't really need that. Um, we have a respawn anchor, that's whatever. I think we're back in a vanilla Minecraft at this point. We have the totem of undying, a shrokel shell, nautilus stuff, of course, a debug stick. That's a thing I've never seen before. Knowledge book? Is that just a reference like, for this? I, I guess. Uh, we have the end crystal, which I think you can make those now, it's cool. Anything else? Anything else? I think we're just in the normal stuff now, aren't we? Yeah. First into normal Minecraft. Okay, well that's the thing. That's fine. Go ahead and take another rest. Alright, so. Now has this portal spread any further? Not really, huh? Still just chilling around that size? Okay. Oh my god, did... Did I just... Realize this? Hold on. Oh my god. I didn't realize that the food hunger bar is that on by vanilla? Where if you're running around, you can see your saturation for your hunger. There's like a pixelated black or gray thing that goes up that if um, it fills up, it goes from right to left. If it fills up, it takes down your saturation level and then starts taking your hunger. Does walking do it or is it just running? I would assume it fills up a little bit if you're just walking, right? Jumping does it a little bit too. Absolutely crazy. Oh my god, I didn't realize that. Okay, well, at this point, what are our options? So we need more netherite to complete this. 
I guess we also have the wither skulls to get wither stuff. Um, what not? There's more dungeons we have to explore. Speaking of, didn't I have another waste down somewhere? Did I use it? I may have used it. Well, let's look at the map real quick. So if we want to go back in the nether, we could get more netherite. Hmm, let's see, where does netherite spawn? Where's the netherite level? 8 to 22. That said, Y has the highest probability of ancient debris. Okay, well... Let's go ahead and go down there, and we'll do that then. We'll just start uh, mining a little bit. Oh, that uh, actually expanded a lot more, huh? It's all sand there now. Didn't even notice. Okay, this time do not throw the sword before we're loaded in. Get my pickaxe out. What level are we at now? We said 15 has the most. If we're at... 27. So let's switch to the mining tunnel. We'll just do this. We'll do one more. We don't hit our head. We have a lot of clearance here. Right, let's go to shapeless crafting. Oh, or shapeless mining, I should say. Crafting. Jump on down here. What are we at here? 32? Gonna go down further. Well, I'll just go ahead and use my pickaxe to get rid of this stuff real quick. Not what I wanted to do. Ouch. Okay. However, we hit a wall here, of course. Let's go. In the nether. We can go ahead and plug some holes up, though. Maybe. I can't plug that up. So let's do that. And then, uh, is everything past this point? Is it all just lava? Looks like it is. Okay, so what if I do this? And then if we go this way with it a little bit. Take out our shovel. Okay, I thought. Dig down further. Go back into the nether rack again. Okay. Keep going further and further. We might eventually reach a place where it's not perfect. Okay. 26. We just I'll just uh switch back to the mining tunnel real quick. go okay and now we are down to y equals 18 All right, let's go back to uh, the let's go to a small tunnel because i think we're far enough down that we can do the rest manually okay it's 16 now we're at y equals 15, so let's dig one more down, just so 15 is kind of in the middle of what we're doing here. All right, now we mine. Boy, don't do that. Kind of walk our way up to the lava so we can plug it up. Oh, look, ancient debris right there. Lucky. Right, so let's take out our shapeless mining tool. Dig this up. We go to ancient debris. Easy peasy. Out of the way. Ancient debris, I need to smelt it in order to get stuff out of it, which is fine. Stay with me. Go ahead and get that. There, all right. Okay, 
So back to the small tunnel. I'm just gonna. How? How did I? How did I even do that? Whatever. I'm not gonna. Works for me. Hello, ancient debris. I'm here to collect you. Okay. Oh, more ancient debris. Nice. There. Okay. So let's go. You know, hold down the figure here. We got a lot of space for us here, which is nice. Okay. All right. There's bedrock down there, of course. Okay. Um, is that ancient debris right there? It looks like quartz, actually. Switch back to shapeless mining. There, okay, that's perfect. We have we have one ingot there, possibly two ingots there. I need five more these. Oops, wrong thing there. I almost dropped the, uh, the ancient debris. Let's do this, that, that, that. There we go. And one more there. Okay, perfect. Now we just have another rack here. Everything else will fill up with actual resources that I want. Right. Experience. Okay. Now we're looking now. We have Eleven. Okay. Thank God for the mod that does the uh, like ability to potentially get like netherite scrap just from mining out this stuff here. What level am I on? Seventeen. Okay. Down a little bit further, I guess. Okay, we are at 15 now. If you look at this, we have three, uh, four, four netherite ingots, which is mostly all we need, because I don't think I can use this for anything else, right? It's those, and then, yeah, the crafting bench that I want, this one, so I can, you know, repair items with levels or remove existing stuff. Good stuff, okay. We'll get a little more. this road ends, huh? Okay. What if I change this to small square? Where am I at right now? I am at 17. Let's go back to our original tunnel. Oh, God. How did you guys get in here, huh? You little shits. We're at 14 now again. Perfect. So let's go over to here. Let's start using this. Hmm? I don't know why that scared me so much, but goddamn. Hey, you. Come back here. 
I'm gonna kill you so you don't make noises. That's not. We gotta mine down to uh, that rock here accidentally. Okay. Why is it not working now? God damn it. I guess it goes too fast if you're in the nether, huh? And once it hits like three times, you're screwed. Mm -hmm. Right here. But this way, then. We'll just try to, like, stay as far back as we can. Why? Oh my god. I guess if it's too far back, it messes up, huh? So annoying. Okay. Anyway, um, we have four, five. Right now, back to this. All tunnels. Okay. That's that. We'll just go. Me. Here, let's go grab that. Okay. How much we got now? Twenty-three, which is five, six blah, or six uh, ancient debris right now. Which to shapeless crafting. I keep saying crafting, but it's mining, not crafting. more ancient scrap and I'll be good, I think. Here we go, okay. Now I have a Malice divisible by four. Let's go ahead and get back. I guess that works. That's also divided by four. come from here it is okay I'd have to be like I don't know how to get out of here that would have been bad all right we have all the netherite we need easy peasy Axes.
and we'll head back to our ship to deposit our materials. Also, I did not gain like any levels off of that, did I? <laughs> oh man. Okay, well. That away. Force block. Oops, I held the wrong button down. Hit it again. That one? There we go. Okay, excellent. Pour the ports in here. Gold. Go and a gold block. Boop. That take that. And this take that. There's another rack here. Put this quartz there. There's a nugget in there. Plug can go in there. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Netherite ingots. Go. Got to wait for these two to finish up, and we can have our eight ingots. Oh. All right. Almost done. Oops. There we go. And then we do this and that and wham bam. Thank you, ma'am. But I believe I need levels to do this, right? I don't. Mind. Of uh, me in debris. <laughs> All right, perfect. Get a full suit of netherite armor completed. All right, so I have three netherite remaining. What did I need this for? Upgrade my little thingy thing, I guess. But is that even necessary? I want to do it for the heck of it, so let's do it. I'll have one left over, so I can toss that there. Give me that. I need a book. I have plenty of things to this. Okay. Now, go to our zombie spawner. Take some damage for some reason. Why? Just load and... We will pull out our pickaxe, so I can grab this. Alright, so it should be this, that, and that gives us our ultimate enchantment table. <coughs> Excuse me. So. Excellent. Place bookshelves around in a square to level this up. Perfect. Alright. Now I can add or remove enchantments as I want. Nothing to really add or remove, though. And that's knockback to this, I guess, if I wanted to, but I don't like knockback. What I could do is add punch to the bow, the thing, and then I can also add flame to it, why not? Uh, I could remove infinity, so I can put mending on it, but eh. I think I'll just do this. So, a couple more levels. Should be pretty easy here. There we go. I think I only needed seven, right? Yeah. Enchant that. Take it back. I think I'm just coming down here and repair it with freaking levels anyway, so that's excellent for me. Alright, so I need uh, at least. I'd like to get a couple more levels so I can get back to teleport to our areas here. But, uh, yeah, we're pretty much finished in terms of gear. So all I really have left to do is find another portal, kill another dragon, or the ender dragon, my bad. Then we're done. Yeah. I guess we have to find the warden, too. We haven't found a warden. 
Yeah. Need to find one of them. Alright, so... Okay, so that's... Two to get back, three to get the other place. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go back to home. Now that I think about it, that was dumb. Because I could have just teleported to the other area I wanted to go to first. Yeah. All right. First of all, change of plans. <clears throat> We're going to go take out this underwater monument over here before we do anything else. Kind of finish all this stuff off. Check our little tick boxes. Actually, look at my achievements. Normal Minecraft. Fill a bucket with lava. I haven't even done that yet. Weaken a zombie, then cure it. Call the eye ender to the end. All the Minecraft ones. We got animal husbandry. Make a sign with a glowing ink. Name an animal. I can do that one real quick. In fact, I should probably tame a horse, huh? Have them over here. They're just not doing anything. Hey, yo, horses. Let me ride you. Let me ride you. Come on. Very easy. Just, just have fun. It's gonna be fine. Is better anyway. Come on. Come on. Hey. Easy peasy. Now I just gotta bring him a saddle and I can ride it. Alright, next achievement would be tame all cat variants, which I'm not gonna do. Get in a boat and float with a goat. Okay. Breed all animals. So I guess I just need to breed the. Uh, Horses? No, wait, there, there's 22 animals to breed? Is, is that what that 5 of 22 means? How many animals are there? There's parrots, there's ocelots, there's pandas, there's uh, horses that I haven't bred yet. Squids? Turtles? How many animals can you breed? Minecraft animals you can breed. Wolves. The wolves, cats, horses, donkeys, mules, llamas, parrots, um, rabbits, bees, foxes. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Huh? Fifteen, if you count the parrots. What are the twenty-two you can breed? Hmm. Use a campfire to collect honey from a beehive using a bottle without aggravating the bees. Apply beeswax or cop, uh, whatever, honeycomb to copper, whatever. Catch a fish, use a fish. Move a bee nest with three bees inside using silk touch. Catch a tadpole in a bucket. Oh, we can breed frogs now and axolotls too, right? I guess that site was outdated I looked at just now. Um, eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. Fuck that. Nether, use a nether to travel in the elder world. Brew a potion, summon the wither. A very potion effect on you at once. Build a respawn anchor. Build a lodestone. Or use a compass on a lodestone, I guess. Destroy gas with a fireball. Rescue a ghast from the nether. Bring it safely home to the overworld and then kill it? How do you do that? How do you, how do you bring a ghast to the overworld? What? Hold on. 
how to bring a gas to the overworld. Are there instructions? Hold up. How do you bring a gas to the overworld? A large power hole and a fishing rod. You build a portal that's big enough and lure the gas into the portal. You can also catch gas in boats or mine carts and transport them that way? What? New start. Craft an item using a monolith. What? Oh, this is dungeon now loading. Okay. Defeat the protector of the deep oasis. Okay. Nautilus Guardian. Break the hard shell of the Guardian. Ooh. I kind of want to do all of these. At some point. Adventure is just searching around, doing pillager stuff. Protect a village from an undesired shock without starting fire. There's a shulker. Cover every biome. There's 52 biomes? In vanilla Minecraft? Damn. Carpets commonly placed on stairs and trap doors. Huh. In the mail. Make a mailbox to receive mail. Collect all rare plates from around the world. Ooh. Matter. So really, I just want to do this stuff here. Yeah. So journey around and find all that. Okay. Well. So here's our goal. The rest of our Minecraft adventure. We want to fight the Warden, or at least find the Warden. I don't know about fighting him. Um, I'd like to spawn him. Uh, we would like to complete all the dungeon now loading areas. Fight the Ender Dragon. I don't really care about the Wither. Because let's be honest, the Wither is just whatever. It, it's the Wither. It's barely a boss at this point. You know? It's just a thing that exists. That can easily be slain. Right, I was going to go to the Underwater Monument first. All uh, right. Ta -ta -ta. Well, I'm sure we'll find another Underwater Monument on our journey to find the other dungeon now loading dungeons. So, yeah. As one does. And still, huh? Sure that is right there. There's still quite a few of the dungeon not loading dungeons we've not seen, like the slime hole. There's one called Olympus. Um, there's the one that's in the uh, dark wood forest. I think that's a swamp over there, is it? Or is that another jungle? Like another jungle. As if we don't have enough. Most of Minecraft seems to be jungles and uh, desert right now, for my seed anyway. We can also find an oasis and kill the oasis guardian with these potions if we uh, get to that point. Alright, what is this? This is obviously a graveyard of some sort. Come on. Oh my god, Jesus the sword, I don't care. Huh. Moth's carpet, interesting. What? Is this not part of Dungeons now loading? Is this the other mod? It must be the other mod, I think. Just to be on the safe side. What if I take out my shovel? Yep, don't see anything down there. That's a trap door down here, though. Okay, yep, nothing down here. I'm just gonna mine that to get a little extra... Okay. This is not a dungeons now loading thing. Um, so we got a village down there, that there. That's an oasis right there. Alright, let's go take out that oasis. Oasis is uh
Hmm. Can I reach that? Nope. All right, we gotta build this the hard way then. There we go. Drop that. It always gets so laggy when we're draw uh, not drawing, when we're loading new chunks, doesn't it? A little stuttery, huh? Seriously, another freaking desert, though. I'm so tired of the desert biomes. They're just everywhere. I think Minecraft is, like, fully being taken over by deserts. Sort of unsettling. I guess it's easier to just not generate trees, though, huh? So. Maybe that's why. All right. Here we are at the oasis. We can get a, another uh, breathing potion here if we wanted to. Not right now. Okay. There's also a pillager tower over there. Is there a monument around here? That would be really helpful. Doesn't look like it. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's just dive right in. Ah. There's a thing there for some reason. Let's grab this stuff real quick. Okay. Where is the boss thing here? Kind of a question, ain't it? I'm gonna go ahead and just destroy all these spawners before they start spawning stuff that I don't like. One over here. So I can see. Okay. I'm not really sure what I'm doing down here, to be honest. There is... TNT. And then there's Prismarine down here as well. Ah, oh, right, there we go. Let's see here. I don't have anything to light the TNT with. Do all these have prismarine under them? They do. Okay. There's not a hidden hole anywhere that I can see. As far as I can tell. Okay. Okay, well, I guess for now, let's just start digging. It's gonna take a while, but at least with the ultra mine, I can mine all four of these prismarine blocks at once. Thank God we have another right pick now, huh? With efficiency. Okay. Well, this is a thing, ain't it? It seems like maybe I'm supposed to have. I'm going to set the TNT off with, but the TNT, I guess, ah, uh, maybe it's because I have mob griefing turned off that it's not, it doesn't work. That would explain it, yeah. Hmm. What explain? How long I got left? Five minutes? Okay. Let's just do this one. Hopefully we don't get a drown coming over here and kicking our butt. Is there a... Was there a flint and steel in the thing up top? 
If there was, maybe we could go back up. No, I would have to enable mob griefing though. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, hold on. I don't think this is gonna work. Okay. Is there a flint and steel? There is, and there's plenty of other TNT. Okay. So, let me quit real quick. And just go back to here. Um, so there's a editor program I got that allows you to edit the game rules from outside here. And if I search for griefing, right, the search function was really slow on this, wasn't it? Okay, uh, well, let's go ahead and kill it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So if I look at it again, I think it's under level data. Then it was under game rules. Game rules, and then mob griefing right there so mob griefing we'll just set that to true okay save and we'll exit out of this real quick like i think that's what i needed to change all right launch the game again so this is how I, I edited the uh the game rule for uh entity cramming as well so, unfortunately, since I'm on survival, I can't do it through, you know, game commands. But I can if I use this program called, what was it, NBT Explorer, which allows you to open up the uh, level.dat file thing and have it be in readable-ish font stuff, you know? So, single player, single player world. So now, once we have our game loaded, we can now use TNT so we don't have to mine through stuff, which will be very helpful for us. I guess this is kind of like an underwater monument, huh? Okay. Let's move all this stuff around a little bit here. Okay, let's go down. First, I want to test it on one of the areas here like this for example let's back off a little still didn't really do anything out did that hmm i don't know if let's go down for that maybe prismarine can't be blown up but other stuff should have been blown up too right hey losers what's up i blow up this tnt for you Still didn't do anything. Mm. All right, well, pretty sure it's this one that I need to mine up next, judging by the map layout. We'll just do this. All right, we're about halfway there. I don't like this dungeon. All right, perfect, here we go. Hey, you, you there, I'm killing you. Okay, they're dead. Let's go ahead and break their line of sight here. I'm gonna go back up a little bit, actually. Oh, I can... Take a breather. Out of here. So it dead. I should get mining fatigued again. And it's about to wear off. It's perfect, which means I can now destroy this. Excellent. 
Okay. Easy peasy. Did I get anything for that? Break the hard shell of the Nadius. Okay, perfect. This has flame on it, right? You guys are lucky I can't do critical hits underwater. I don't think. Come here. I want to hit you. There you go. Stop moving so I can make you dead. Okay. We're all dead now. There's an armor stand here. I think I need an empty hand, right? I got a deep trident, riptide level four. Nice. Is it? All right. Well, what? Another one? Come here. Come here. That's right. I do like being out of water, huh? Loser. Right, what is this? Nautilus shells? Okay. You really throwing a freaking trident at me, bro? Not all the shells over here. I'll go grab those. And it also wore off of that. Okay. Well. Ow, oh, what? There must be a spawner in there somewhere, huh? Going back in. How do these work, by the way? The trident. There a spawner somewhere? I didn't see one. There's got to be. I don't even care anymore. I'm leaving. Huh? Ah, there he is. Of course they hit under here, why wouldn't they? Hello, the guardian. Huh? You can just run away? Where else is one? Here we go. More TNT down here. Okay. Just these down there as well. Yeah, that's everything, right? Yeah, that's everything there. Okay. So up we go. Okay. Does this one also just lead down in a hole? It does. Okay. Cool. Well, I got a bunch of prismarine and stuff. Cool. Alright, how do we go? Meow. I gained a uh, vitality apple here. Get rid of this stuff. I don't need this, that, or that, or that. Water bottles. Or this rock cod. Might as well use all these potions. 
Get dunked on, son. And spider eyes. There's dirt for that matter. What is copper? I'll keep the copper. Okay. Bottles of enchanting. Go! Okay. Well, where do I go from here? Uh... That does look like a swamp. Maybe we can find one of the, uh... I'm gonna mark that on the map just so I have it. There we go. One of the swamp places. There. Oh, we need this apple as well. I can't eat it right now, never mind. Dang you, saturation and hunger! Got a shortcut across here, it'll be faster maybe. I don't know how tridents work. If you have Riptide, does that mean you can't attack, like, with the throwing thing of it? I thought there was a throwing mechanism for it. Hmm. I've always viewed Tridents as worthless, so I've just never really dealt with them. Oh! Woo! Yippee-ki-yay! Okay, not bad. Ow. That one hurt. Okay. Moving on. So I just gotta get across here now, which Does this help at all? This fast than using a boat? I don't know. Is it faster if we do it underwater or above water? Not really sure. They get here pretty quick. So. Oh, it's gonna hurt. Ow. Yeah, that hurt. Okay. Well, now that we're here, we can wait for it to load a little bit because this looks like a huge. Oh man, I've never actually seen one of those swamps before in the newest things. That's pretty cool. The frog, do you drop anything? No. This is cool. Okay. Is there any weird structure looking area in the swamp? Maybe it won't generate if it's a new swamp. I don't know what would cause it to generate or not. It must be just like a stone looking platform, I think. I don't know why, but this area looks a little suspicious, as does this one. Maybe there too? Anything over on this side? That, maybe? I don't know. This is a huge swamp, though. God dang. This one also, for some reason, makes me think. Okay. Well, let's just start searching this area. See what we can find, if anything. Heck, there's so much tree in this swamp that it could be very possible that it's just hidden by all the leaves and stuff, too. Do these have, like, mangrove trees, right? So, do anything with these? 
Can you do anything with the mangrove roots? You can make them into muddy mangrove roots, which can then be done nothing with. Um, you can use it with fuel, or composting, I guess. Whatever. Hmm. There's the mossy carpeting. That's the thing, I guess. Wait, am I going back the way I came? Nope. Put a waypoint here, but there is nothing. Okay. Fair. A little cave here, though. Now that we've moved a little bit further, anything else that stands out around here? Looks like we got a little bit of lava or something right there. But I don't think anything else is too strange. I don't know what the rest of the biome looks like. I like how there's also just like a random desert in the swamp. It's just hilarious to me. Okay, let's eat this forbidden apple. It didn't give me another heart, though. It was supposed to give me another heart, what it said. Right? What is, what is that? A mangrove... Up you will. Hmm, it grew. Weird. Oh my god. I don't think my uh I don't know if the game likes this biome though. It's quite stuttery, like I don't know. Alright, anything at this waypoint that I marked? Doesn't look like it. Just a normal biome, okay. Press on. Yo, that was crazy. The mangrove trees are in the way. What should be something? I think that's just like a copper house, ain't it? Yeah. Care about that. Really, nothing obvious over this area, huh? I think if I do not find, uh the dungeons now loading area in this swamp. I might just say that they don't exist and not worry about finding one. Because it seems like just going through this is just not very great. I guess it's like a real swamp. Going through a swamp in real life is just awful as well. So why would you want to go through one in craft? All right, well, That's about it for that, then. Okay. Another oasis over there. Oh, you couldn't pay me to go into one again. That was just annoying. Also, I guess, since the oasis is technically a uh, underwater monument, just a different layout, you could say, I guess we don't really have to go to an underwater monument, huh? I guess we can just say, screw it, and consider that the Guardian beat. Oh my god, the game is just not having a great time right now. Do you eat these or like what what are, what is it? is it? Is it making more swamp is insane, y'all. I love it. Like 
Don't get me wrong, I love it, but I just wish it was not like lagging me right now. That's just a lava pool as well. Okay, well, in that case, the next one was this pink arrow down here. There's nothing else looks obvious to me. I'm not sure if anyone else sees anything that looks obvious. Maybe there'll be something like in this little area. I don't know. I don't know. So since it's cobblestone, I'm looking for something that's like grayish on the map, you know? But at the same time, it could just be a cave. So, seeing what's what here is a little complicated. Okay. Put, put it away. Oh, I got a click, I forgot. Throw some tools. This is a really dense mangrove thing here. Wait, is that a koi? Oh, there's... oh, those are piranhas. I think. I don't know. They're fish. I don't, I don't like them. I don't like fish. Let's get out of this biome real quick. I'm gonna skim across the top here until we're out into the open waters. And I will get my trident. We can just zip across here. Shipwreck over there. And more desert. Eesh. I feel like even using the, the trident right now is like laggy because of the swamp. That looks kind of like a dungeon not loading thing. Oh, the pink thing's right there, huh? Um, well, nothing else here looks like what we're looking for. In fact, I don't even think these are, I'm being honest. Yeah, that's just more swamp. How about this one? What did I mark this for? Because it looked weird? Yeah, that's all. Okay, there's nothing here. I mean, there could be here, but I highly doubt it. Also, that was just because it looked square. So... I don't think we're going to find anything here. So instead of continuing our... journey into that swamp, why don't we go to the other swamp? Also, I want to get closer to this mountain. Because there is a dungeon or anything in the mountains that looks sort of like that. I just want to make sure it's not. And I cannot see anything with the shield when I do that, huh? There you go. Okay. What do we got? Yeah, that is not the dungeon not loading. Dungeon thing? Let me get on land real quick so I can open the map. Uh, that's a interesting cave formation. I'll give it that. Um, I like how there's a... What is this, a savanna biome surrounding the swamp? Kind of funny. And there's this swamp here, which has nothing really. Is that just mud or I want to check that out. That looks, could be interesting. Thing with this area right here, that could be something. Ah. Uh. God. 
Well, it's a lot of swampland here, huh? Well, let's just head this way and north for now. We'll get there. It's a little surely. I think we will pass the nether portal, it looks like. Thought we had to the fourth moment. Got my hopes up. Um let's head to the white one first, then we can head in further. Oh boy, please land in water. Okay. I just don't have two sticks. Where do I keep getting these two sticks at? Okay, so it's just a risen up mountain, I guess, huh? It's a village. I don't see anything obvious here, though. Okay, well, let's head to that thing, the yellow X, just to double check. Oh my god, I just thought this is going to be an absolute massacre in here with, like, monsters and stuff, ain't it? It's going to be not a great time. This is, like, so much worse than going through a jungle. And I thought jungles were bad. Okay, so here is the other marker that I put down. It looks like it's just, yep. It is literally just tunnels. Well, I moved over here a little bit further. Anything else? Anything else looks interesting. I do want to go over here, because there could be something in that area. I know it's worth it. I'll keep going, like, to the east for now, but I'll probably redirect up further north. Just to get out of the swamp. Once I see something that's really, really eye-catching uh, as we progress here. Finding some solid ground that's not swampy water. This is definitely an improvement over the, the normal swamp biome. I will give Mojang that. This is a definite improvement because they have its own trees. And it, it feels more like a swamp because it sucks to go through. It is just not fun. I feel like I need like mosquito repellent or something on going around here. You know what I mean? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. So those of you who don't know, I released a game on Steam. And I released it last night at midnight. It was supposed to be on August 1st, but I apparently did not realize that I had to do it manually to release it. And so, since the release, I've just been getting tons of emails from people who are like, I'm a curator. Uh, if you give me a key to your game, I'll play it and then curate it and be like, yeah, this is a game. And it's like, can y'all just fuck off? Okay, there's nothing in the swamp at all that is remotely of interest to me. Um, Honestly, I don't think I'm thinking of interest to hear either. But I'm looking at the map. Um, I think this is just more planes, right? Let's just head here. We'll, we'll just keep going east. Okay, those are some creepers. Excuse me, creepers. Actually, I'm curious. Hey, creeper! 
Come and blow your load, my dude. Hmm. I guess the setting I changed was not the right one for mop griefing or something? I don't know. Anyhow. It'd be kind of nice in this biome if, uh, like, the trees were dense enough, like, up top with foliage that you could just walk across the top of the trees rather than having to climb through everything here. Also, this would be an amazing place to, like, just make, like, a densely packed mangrove foresty area or something like that, right? And then make that like a treehouse kind of thing, right? It'd be very fun to do. I don't have the skill to do it because uh, I'm bad at building, but I'd definitely love to see someone try that. Are we almost out of this damn swamp? Almost, yeah. We got something here. Let's mark that. And anything over here? Not really. Okay. You're off, skeleton. No one likes you. Dang. Hell accurate with that, huh? Hup. 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 Almost out. Almost got freedom. I can taste it. Getting more grassy. I'm just getting really lucky with the paths I'm choosing right now. Or generation is just really good to allow you to have multiple paths to like pass through stuff and not cut you off too often. I don't know which, but I want to go ahead and believe that it's my own skill that's allowing me to properly progress through this area. Okay, well now I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the tool belt because I don't need it. I'm just gonna use mangrove roots to build up here, I don't care. Okay. We made it. <coughs> Excuse me. Damn. Okay. Ooh. Is that... I think that's just a honey hive. I'll just take a peek on that one as well. I think that's just a normal mesa up there. Something over here as well. Okay. Take a peek at that, 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 and we're gonna go from there. Which one I'm going to first? This white one right there, okay. Uh, run, please, thank you. I think that's a beehive. You know what? In fact, let me go over here to confirm that first. Before we do anything else. Don't you do it, man. You don't want none of this skeleton. Told you. Hold on. Is that Enderman? No. I do need to kill Enderman to get the Eyes of Ender in order to get to uh, the end portal, so I should be looking for them. All right, now is that... I can't tell because of the dang waypoint. And there's a tree in the way, of course. Oh, it goes. Okay, well... That's just my luck. Ow. Pretty sure it is a beehive, though. If for where I'm being on it. Actually, speaking of beehives, there is a dungeon for bees that exists in Dungeons Now Loading. But it's not one of those above ground ones that we've seen already. Like a uh, hive in the ground. Like it's built into the ground, right? So. Don't know. Much luck there. Yeah, I don't think this is anything important, but let's check it out anyway. Might just be another graveyard. Just a graveyard or something here, huh? 
there a bed though? Because that'd be really cool. Very useful for getting zombies stuck in the spider webs though. Over this one. Anything here of value? I don't think so. One barrel there. Nope. Just grass. Okay. Well, is there anything? I'm gonna put my junk in here actually. Okay. Is there anything under it? Maybe let's not throw our thing on the ground. No, nothing under it. Okay. It's trash! Look around. Um, I see another ruined tower, but that's nothing there. That's from the other mob ad structures and ruins. That's an interesting thing. I want to I see this, like, just the, the lay of the land there. That looks pretty cool, to be honest. I really think that's just a beehive. Hard to tell from this area. Let's go down to this one first. And I'm just eating through my uh, steak, aren't I? Ugh, jungle. Ow. No, let me out! That's just a beehive, okay. I was able to tell from here. We got some sort of well? I suppose this is a dungeon? Oh. I haven't seen this before. It looks like a normal well. Yeah, a ruined well, huh? Well, what if we dig it up a little bit? Yep, it's just a uh, ruin. Okay. Unfortunate. Not even any, like treasure there either. Hey, stop. Mushroom forest over there. Might have something in it. Um. You know what? I'm, I'm going to ignore this structure now, I think. Um, now that we saw the mushroom forest, because the mushroom forest could have something dungeony over there. Let's go! Yeah! Flat. Okay. How do I get out of here? Right over here. Boink. Mm. Maybe not if it's that small, though. The dungeon's a lot harder to find than I thought they would be. Like in our hardcore playthroughs, we found like, what, two of those? Golem graveyards really quickly. Yeah, there's nothing going to be in that little biome there. Is that another jungle, though? I guess I haven't found the jungle dungeon either. Well, let's go north to this village anyway. I can waypoint it in case we die or something. Why are there villagers there? Oh, gods. Okay. Well, that was a hole. I saw something glowing down in that pit, and I was a little bit interested. But it doesn't matter. Hey, bud, who are you? You're just a Fletcher? Why are you here? This is a little bit far from the village, ain't it? There was just a random pillager out here? All right.
Anyway, there is a play stone right here. You can go ahead and mark it. Give it a moment to catch up, and we crashed. Oh, you'll love to see it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Play. Play. Oh my god. We'll get there at some point. Pull up surely. We're loading up. Free promotion opportunity. Take a player. Survival world. Da, da, da. Okay, I want to mine this up first. Come on, put me in. Another hive up there. God dang. That's just an outpost. The temple over there. Two. And from the jungle either. <gasps> Boy. This is this is rough. Okay. Call it the northmost village. Because that's kind of where it's at. I guess our question now is do we want to keep going north or go to the west further? Look how much we've like explored already. And we haven't found like many dungeons, right? Absolutely insane. Imagine if we would have kept Biomes of Plenty on and had it running while trying to find these dungeons that spawn in very specific Minecraft vanilla biomes. I'm pretty sure we would have, like, never found any of them. Even though we found, like, probably ten oasises by now. Like, it's still insane. There's, like, a bunch that we have not found. We haven't found the Golem Graveyard. We haven't found Olympus. We haven't found any of the snow ones. We haven't found the Dark Forest ones, which the Dark Forest is, like... You know, hard to find anyway, right? Like, it's a thing. But. Man. Ow. Of course I put the boat down and then landed on it. That is just how I work. The mountain one should be, like, the most obvious if we're going from a, uh, a point of looking for it. Like, on the ground level. Right? It's supposed to be a huge sword in the ground, is what it is. And that's the Olympus one, what it's called. So. Hey, just, just checking. We still haven't found any spruce trees either, right? Just dark wood and stuff. I just wanted to double check. Like, I feel like we still haven't seen a single spruce biome. Or a spruce tree. Or did we? Maybe I did in one point. I don't remember. It's so long. 
I feel like this is definitely faster than yeah, moving with the trident anyway. Okay, so let's hit the beachhead here. Oh look, another hive, another mushroom forest. Um, we have something here. We can check that out. I don't think it's going to be what we want, though. Unfortunately. Also, it doesn't look anything spawned in this. That's, that's, uh, okay. Well, we know what to do. A lot of birch. On a birch forest, at least. I feel like I haven't seen many Endermen either. Huh. Although I think you can trade the piglins or something for Eyes of Ender. If you give them enough gold, sometimes that's a possibility of something they'll give you. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe if we really get desperate enough for that, we can go over to the nether and trade for a bunch of eyes of ender if we can't find any endermans to kill. I'm getting into the dark oak forest, right? That's what this one's called. Yeah, the dark forest! Oh, God, be praised for health. Actually, I'm pretty sure on hardcore that would have just killed me right out, right? That fall damage. Man, I think that one hardcore that we went to, where we had like a dark oak forest or whatever, and we saw like that huge structure, I'm betting that was one of the dungeons too. I don't think of it. We haven't even seen one of those huge, like, fortress ones that was just like a square maze fortress. We haven't seen one of those yet either. But we had like a bunch of them in our hardcore runs. I think this seed just doesn't like us when it comes to dungeons not loading. Because the dungeons aren't guaranteed to spawn one per biome. You could have like five of the same biome and not have a single one. Although it feels like with the desert, you sure have a lot of oasis ones. Tell you what. Alright, so what is this? Just a uh, villager thing? Looks like it, yeah. A bunch of nonsense around here. Oasis. Uh... Oh, yeah, we found one of these before. This was one that's actually. Uh... Look at home. Wherever the hell home is at now. It's the same as this thing here. Nothing special. In fact, I think we can if I remember correctly. There's another treasure chest up here. We can get to. Possibly. I don't think there's anything in it though, that's worth it. Yeah, some emeralds. And we got plenty of that and plenty of trade for it too, so. I guess, where do we go from here? Do we just go across the ocean again? Like, is that what we do? Nowhere else to go off of based on just landmarks. I guess we just keep heading in west. Whatever direction this is, anyway. Yep. That was a nice cliff, huh? Might have to go back for some food if uh, we start running out, because I think we started this with like, what, 40 something steak, and now we're down to 13. Crazy how that works, huh?
Okay. Almost at the ocean here. Make down this way. A bit easier. There we go. Is that a ship over there I see? It is, but just one of the fishing trawlers that you see occasionally. All right, so we got more forest down that way. That little ship, it looks like. Um, we got a ship over here, which doesn't really matter. What is what is that? It looks like giant trees rising out of the ocean, doesn't it? Like, here's the, the root, and then there's that. I'm actually a little interested in that, so let's just uh, angle ourselves north, northwest, and get some of the map on done here. Was oh, just a huge village on the water? What? Usually you don't see villages with like this many docks. Like it's literally just an island village. I've never seen that before. I want to check it out. Just because I've never seen it. What I would really like to be able to do right now is to turn on god mode and just start flying around searching for the dungeons. <laughs> oh, if only. If only. Still trying to angle myself a little bit westward so we can get some more of the west like map checked out, you know? What a fancy little village. Man. It would have been so nice to spawn on this village. I would have just made my house here. This is like such an amazing like place. Look at this. It, it's just an island with a village on it. That's all it is. Nothing weird. There's no like areas that monsters could obviously spawn from if you light it up. You don't have to like re terraform anything. It's just perfect. You know, monument over there. Man. Man, it would have been cool to start a base right here. And the water. Get trees over here and everything. I do like our base, but. God dang. You no. Know? I think over here. Oh, excuse me. Pick up. Uh, I think over here. There's a waypoint? Waystone? There it is. And I'm going to pick it up before I put it down and touch it. Okay. Um, Island Village. No, it makes sense. I'm also going to waypoint that. Island Village. Easy peasy. Okay. Um, looks like there's a ship right here, which is interesting. I always love being able to see the seafloor while you're looking at a map. It's just so cool. Okay, let's throw that down there. I'm going to put this in my tool belt. Okay. God, it's such a cool village. Like, I don't need to look around it because it, it, a village is a village. But just like the shape of it with all the docks and stuff. In fact, there's like fishing trawlers out there. I wonder if the, one of my mods makes that like a little village on an island. That'd be freaking interesting, right? God damn. I see a, some dark wood over here. Maybe it's a huge dark wood forest that we could potentially find a dungeon in. I'm trying to stay going a little bit northwest still as well. So we can hopefully get some land on the, the west marked out. All the dark forests we've found so far have been really small, that's the thing. Another underwater monument over here, huh? This one looks like it might be a little bit bigger. Still not sure. Well, I see another beehive over there. Hmm. 
What is that glowing thing? Two ladders or something? Hey, Dolphin, how you doing? Having a good time? Um, that's not something, is it? It's like we're getting the town to west. Might as well check that out. Oh, there's like a light in the middle of the forest. Thank you. Yeah, I hear you, Dolphin. How you doing? Careful, there's a drown there. I saw a chest in that. Right down there, too. There's still nothing to the west of us? Wow, this is a huge ocean, huh? Okay. Is that a witch just chilling there? On the side? Hey, a witch. Get out of here. I don't often have a witch drop a potion. What is it? Instant health. Ooh. Fancy. Wow. Yep, we just got another uh, worthless little dinky dark forest here, huh? Did he just try to 360 no scope me? Oh, I'm spinning around real fast and shooting me, right? It wasn't just me. Yeah, we're definitely not finding a woodland mansion at this destination, but I'm curious what is causing the light here? Get rid of the tree. What the heck? This is a bad place to be right now. What the heck? Something's invisible or something. Let's destroy these while we can. Zombie villager spawners, huh? Well, this is the cleric's hideout? Oh, hell yeah. I see you in there. We found a dungeon, boys! Try to clear out spawners before we engage inside the building here. Maybe wait till day two. <laughs> oh, from behind, yeah, this guy. Rip all those. Okay, I think that's everything around here. Let's clear up some. Face and maybe light this thing up a little. Thank God they have lanterns around here, or else I would have just walked straight past this area without a second thought. I'd have just been like, oh, there's nothing here, so. I'm doing with it. The question is is there a entrance, like an actual entrance, or is it just. Going to be that. Oh, I guess my briefing is on. What? Where'd you come from? I don't care about you guys already. All right. Is there an entrance? I saw a door over that way. There's a door. Yep, there's a door. Okay. You summon these guys or something? Close the door, please. Look out for my armor resistance and stuff, huh? Okay, listen here, y'all. 
He's got to be spawning them or something, huh? One more hit, and we got him. He has been defeated. Now we can sleep real quick. Dark Z has been defeated. Hell yeah. What does he go? Oh my god, he's got emeralds. And melon slices. Golden apple, potion of weakness. I guess I could have turned the tomboys back with that, huh? I didn't know you could put that stuff like that. Huh. Oh, maybe this this was causing the zombies to spawn, huh? Ah, so that's it, huh? It was using the spawners up here to spawn things in. Interesting. Okay. You think... Ah, oh, man, I could have saved him. Never mind. Doesn't matter. He's dead now. Anything underneath here? Nope. Just color carpet, I guess. Get any of this garbage. Ominous banner. Where did you come from? Well, fine. I didn't want to, you know, have that wall anyway. Here we go. Oh, I think those hearts at the, those pink hearts right there, might be able to see them better if I did the shield. I think those need to fill up in order for me to get an extra heart. So I need to kill things in order to get things to get those hearts maxed. I think that's what it means, maybe. But regardless, red loss is wrong. Can I put this on myself or anything like that? How do you wear one of these? It's whatever. Nope. I don't want it. Get out of my inventory. You don't really gain anything else from this either, huh? Well, where to next? It looks like there's nowhere else for me to go, really. Um, I guess I can go north. Since that has land. I don't think we have anything in this biome. Really. Let's skedaddle. Oh, there's another one here too, huh? There we go. Look at that. Oh, Enderman! Hey, Enderman. Stay still for me. Nothing. Just a grass block. Bro. That's fine. Oh, there's another one here. Hold on. I just heard you teleport. Here we go. Three Ender Pearls. That'll help. Heck yeah, baby. Finally. Got a couple of them. Okay. So that's one more dungeon down. So if we look at the uh, achievements under adventure, not adventure, new start. He was weaken and then cure cleric Z, and then find the mega mansion. Those are linked together. Huh. I guess we we could have cured him, huh? I also have to kill him though, so we have to kill him first and then do that. You know what? Hold up. Before we get too far away from here, what if I go pick up that potion of weakening in case we find another one and we can do that? Wouldn't be too bad of an idea, right? Although, of course, all the trash is uh, it right around there. I got it. And with all the other garbage I didn't want. So let's just do some inventory cleaning right here quick. I don't need an instant health potion, let's be real honest. Okay. We Gucci now. Let's go. Oh, I saw another enemy man for a second there. I was gonna beat him up. Running low on food, though. At the next village, we'll probably want to teleport back home. This is one reason why I like the dark forest. Because you can just run on the tops of the trees and not have to worry about, like, diving through stuff. I see another castle there. Is that the ones that we've already searched, though? 
also a whole lot achievement. Um, the pyramid jungle, locate the dungeon now, all the structures, add a player head, deep, hidden deep, reveal the hidden structures, uh, dive in the oasis, break the guardian shell, defeat the propagator of the deep oasis, protector. Was that not them? Was there more? I don't know. Locate one of the graves, and a royal grave of the hunter. Find the freezing campsite watched under the silver eyes. Okay. We got pain five full hearts, and that's just the bonus stuff. Okay, so what was locate pillager structures? Visit the pillager camp. Complete the normal raid that has a green bar. Okay. There's find Olympus. Craft an item using the monolith. Enter the labyrinth. Sneak into the hive. Craft a honeycomb ingot using the monolith in one of the hive nests. But I've not found a hive nest yet. Craft a hive chest using the monolith in the leafy hive nest. And the items for storing dungeon loots. Okay. Or craft a honey potion using the labyrinth made in the witch's lab honey nest. So there's multiple types of honey. Find the stone castle. Open one of the hidden chests in the stone castle. Gain a knightly sword fragment by attempting alchemy or looting from a treasure chest. Find the over-enchanted equipment in the castle treasure chest. Find all the over-enchanted equipment. Obtain the knightly sword and loot all three treasure chests in the castle. Oh my god, there's multiple. So I guess, yeah, let's, uh, let's go to this village maze here. Actually, the maze, so that's perfect. We haven't been there before. I guess we found another castle. We have a lot of work to do. Uh, also, since I think there's one down next to our home, pretty quick, close, right? Where was it at? I thought there was one nearby. One of the, uh, I guess not. I guess we'll make a, uh, a thing next time we're there. What does it take to make a waypoint? You need a warp stone, which is a bunch of ender pearls, so we're not doing that. I'll steal them from the villages as we come across them. I don't want to fall in the water, I just decided. All right. What time are we at? We're about 5.30, okay. Hello, B. So, since I have that find the honey nest thing, does that mean that the ones that we've been seeing are actually part of the dungeon mod? If that's the case, then I might have to consider going back to one again and seeing if there is a crafting thing there. Because if there is, then we should look at it, right? The deep hole. Okay. First of all, question. I, I see a, a waypoint. And that's what I wanted. Perfect. Just in case we die or something. Um, Abby Ren. Oh my god. I guess that's how I spell it. Okay. Spell it right. Anything here that I see? There's a village over there, it looks like. Up in forest up there. Could potentially find another uh, guy. There's a honey nest there. Honey nest Cheerio. Another worthless tower. All right. So I think if we go over towards this place again, 
So, hello, Iron Golem. You, uh, the one up there. I think there was an entrance to the south, but I think every side has an entrance. So, let's get there real quick. This is the labyrinth. What was the labyrinth achievements? Um, look at the graves. Enter the labyrinth. Open the chest in the heart of the labyrinth. Okay. So we're just looking for a chest. Then. Yeah. Not happy I destroyed that, huh? There's something under here, maybe? Nope. Hey, are you a villager? Just like a normal ass villager, dude? You okay in here? Hmm. Another villager. Dude, are you okay? Wait a sec, aren't, isn't that noise, that uh, noise when I destroy that, isn't that the same thing that we heard in the other dungeons that like had a lock on the chest because we had to find all the spawners or something? I think it was. We might want to actually like look down everywhere we can possibly. Well, first of all, we're already at the heart of the labyrinth here, so let's just take a look. Ten spawners remaining. Okay. That's what I thought. Well then. Let's go. Ten spawners, ten spawners, ten spawners. Be easy enough to find them, I think. Honestly, it would be just so much easier if I just mine through walls, right? So 10, how about 9, 8, what are you doing up there, spider, huh? Oh, as soon as I decide to shoot you with an arrow, you come down. Yeah, what is There's seven. Seven? Seven more? I think. You know. Back to here. No, oh, let's go down this. Even that way, right? Let's go over this way. Let's switch to small square mining. Six. Hmm. Gotta be a spawner there. Calm down for a moment. Is that six or five? I lost track. We'll say six. Here's five. I feel like they were all clustered on one side of the map, right? Doesn't it feel like that? Torches, huh? Thank you. I think 
I already I started on this side. Okay. I want to go through there. Go through here. There's a here, I guess. I don't know why I opened that so like. I'm just gonna open this up, and there's not gonna be anything bad in here that's gonna try to kill me. Okay. Since there's a monster over here, I'm sure there's gonna be a spawner, right? Probably not. Okay. Well. Hmm. The southern entrance, yeah. At least it should be. Well, I just walk around. There should be monsters spawning from the spawners as they happen. Speaking of, I heard a spider. You there, you shit. Uh, four, I think. Ow, what the hell? Why do you have a hundred health, you little zombie punk? We gotta go. We gotta go, baby! Yeah, climb up that, punk. Yeah, I can see why I died on hardcore here. Uh, get stuck in that webbing. Easy peasy baby. Okay. Huh? Oh, he's outside. Okay. <laughs> That's like what, two left? I'll make sure there's nothing here in this little one here. Nope, okay. What? Hold up. I didn't, I didn't like how that was there. Apparently there's stuff on top of the maze. Which is not great, because now it's throwing me off. Uh... Already came through here. Did I get that one? Yep, I did. Here we go. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright. I think we have one more, maybe, left, possibly. I'll make him my way towards the... Uh... I don't like there's a zombie on top of this place that's just following me around. It really disconcerting. This might be all, I think. We're gonna... Ow, what? Oh, I'm so used to that one zombie just being above me that I just ignored it. What's up, jabroni? There, there. 
Yeah, I think perhaps. To be safe, I'm gonna do that. Ah, that was everything. Also, something else opened. I'm not sure if you uh heard that noise that came up, but I did. Something called enchanting material. I'll take this diamond pickaxe just in case. Also, while the iron ore, I'll grab that. Nothing else looks to be of interest here, so I'm just going to ignore that except for the gold block. Piston is moving here. Oh, what? I'm gonna go down. What? What, uh, was that? I didn't even break that spawner though. Okay. So I need spawner fragments, which. What? How do I get those? And then there's just an iron pickaxe. So. Okay. Okay, so let me look at the achievements real quick. Um, the maze one was right here, right? Solve the maze, open the chest at the heart of the labyrinth, um, and then obtain the flesh bone sword and bow, defeat the chaos spawner, and break the uh, craft the spawner breaker. Okay, well, I think it glitched out or something. So I'm going to say that this is completed, because there's no way for me to do anything else. I'm going back up. Okay. Easy peasy. That's unfortunate, but that's just how things are sometimes. What is that? It's like a banner almost. Anyway, let us head out of the maze this way. And I'm going to switch to tunneling. I don't feel like so much else. Actually, I don't think we need to do it. I can just this. There's so many different types of stuff that's there. Uh, drop that, that, and that, and that, and that, and that. Drop the diamond pick too, why not? I don't need it. Ooh, drop that lapis, I don't need that one lapis. I'll give this stuff because it's enchanted, and I might need that for a different place, but for now I don't. Let's, let's check out the hive nest. See if there's anything in there that I can do that's fancy or anything like that, I don't know. What were the hive nest achievements? It's pretty simple to find it, right? Where was it at? Hidden deep. Villager there. Monolith crafting. Ancient. All right, the ancient jungle jungle pyramid. Craft a honeycomb ingot using the monolith, or other stuff like that. So. See what we can find out. Okay. Once again, there's not a real way to get in here. Hello, bees. How are you doing? Picky situation. Jump onto a honey block to break your fall. Oh, that's cute. 
Well, I will take these honey blocks. I don't see anything I can use here to craft anything. At least not in this one. Let's check the next one. Oh wait, is this all this one is? It's just this? There's a chest here I didn't open. Bee nest and some other stuff. I don't really care about that. Usually they're like three wide, right? Didn't expect that, okay. Anyway, bye bees. Enjoy your time. There's just, just to make sure, hold on. There's not like something underneath here, right? We switch to shapeless. And I'm gonna stand on this thing here. Honey block. Ah, damn. Whatever. Oop. Okay, there's nothing here. I've decided. There is another one of these, though. A honey block. Some honey bottles. Need those either. So let's go. We'll head to this one next, which was. What was this marker? Oh, yeah, that weird, like, banner on the map. And that guy from chat who was advertising for buying viewers. Hmm. Just a weird stone formation, huh? Man. This honey nest is bigger. There's also whatever this is here. God, the thing about this place is now that it's not night, I can't see the glow of the torches. So I don't know if there's a structure in here or not. Ah, oh, that sucks. Anything else around me while I'm just waiting? Not really? Okay. Well, let's go explore the dark forest a bit, I guess. It was very obvious once we did see it, so... Once we get into it, and it'd be gritty, we should be able to... Fairly quickly see it, I think. Am I really that far away? I am. Okay. I thought it was like right there. Flash. Under grass. Okay. Off our way over to here. Easy peasy. I do also need to find another village so we can go back home, but that doesn't matter too much right now. Ooh, I see something over there! Yo, is that- wait, is that a woodland mansion? It is. Excellent. Do you suppose we'll find a, uh, another cleric in here as well? That would just be one two punch right there, right? It's gonna be kinda hard to see though. Oh, yeah. Let me put a waypoint on this one of the mansion. Not that it's very easy to miss, but just so I know when I get close to it. Hmm. I haven't found the cleric place yet. Let me go up here real quick. Flowering azalea happen to be here, huh? Okay. See anything obvious over there? Should be fairly obvious even from the tops of the trees here. Can I make that jump? Dan, oh, 
Skillful and talented. But I saw previously it did have a uh, mushroom on the top of it. We were possibly looking for a bigger brown mushroom and it stands out, you know? Hmm. There's a lot of it here, huh? This is a, one of the bigger dark forest ones we found, huh? Where's my marker at? The red arrow, so it's hard to find. There, okay. Let's jump down for now. Now. Kind of continue moving through this side of it. You'd think once we get close, we'd be able to see the uh, mobs on the map, right? Because they would be spawning and stuff, right? Still here. Oh, there might be something there, but apparently not. It might be easiest just to wait for night. And then when night does fall, I can use the map to see if there's any light spaces, light blocks, like we did the other time. I think maybe we just head to the uh, little mansion for right now. And actually, I think I'm gonna ignore the beehive over there as well. But that thing, that thing's interesting too, though. Well, the wooden mansion's closer. We'll move to that. Ooh, that was a deep cave there. Okay. Hey, yo, wooden mansion, knock knock. Be your boy. Question is how to get in. All right, let's. Can I put a boat in my tools? I can. Oh my god, that's so helpful. Hello. Am I me? Just gonna jump down. And kinds of flowers. That's cool. We have. I don't know what that would be like referencing. Oh, I got it. It's a it's a hole. It's a hand, and he's holding a little staff. And this is the illager that's doing stuff. Gotcha. Yep, I got the little lapis brain. Have you guys watched the uh, game theory videos behind the illagers? How their villagers or like these certain villagers who have been taken and like the illagers have done stuff to them like these guys for example and you can see how their eyes are blue and that's because they used lapis to like manipulate them somehow or something like that look at all the allies I hate you guys. I hate you. No, give me that back. Woo! You know what? Out of here. Easy peasy. I don't know if I'm going the uh, right way or not here. I don't know if there's a, a right way to go with these or not, but. Do this. Oh, is this the uh, other portal? Or an end portal, I guess. I don't know what that name tag. Name tags are rare, I guess. It's not. It's just a, a banner. Weird. <laughs> Got another one of these guys. Someone up there is running at me.
Is this really just a storage room with nothing in it? It looks that way. Well, then I will give them the honor of holding some loot that I do not care about. Congratulations. All yours now. Enjoy it. Okay. This whole area was nothing. Long pathway down here. We freed the allies, even though I didn't really care to. So this is the entrance. Right, right, right. I'm running quite low on food here, so let's finish off this floor. We got a... Hey, buddy, back off. Indicators. All right. Got a sort of a growing station here, I guess. There's a hidden room here. It's got a tree with a efficiency axe on it. Is it trying to tell me to chop down the tree? Hmm. It's not interesting. It's it's also interesting that I mind it right there where like a door should be, right? Very interesting. Here, blow up. Thank you. Thank you. For sure there's nothing in these chests still. Oh, hey, bud. Okay, there's just nothing here. Okay. Why would bother making chests if you're not going to put stuff in them? What's this, then? Alter. I keep hitting tilde to drop stuff and not you. Okay, this floor has been completely searched and sieged. There's more flowers. On to the next floor. Let's kick some butt. Hey, you want some? Come on. Why'd you put your axe away? I was like so ready for him to come at me and then like. Stopped. Is it night now? It is night. Okay. Real quick. Search. Any lights in the forest? Any lights at all? That do not look like they belong there. Anything. That is a no, unfortunately. Damn. It would have been so nice if we could have just found another cleric thing here, too. It would come in handy. Well, you win some, you lose some. Another hive nest over there, huh? I feel like he noticed so much extra stuff. Oh, look, there's another labyrinth here. There's also a village there, which is what we want to see. Okay. Let's finish this bad boy up. What is this? Like a arena? Yeah, it's an arena, it looks like. Yep, there's even an area up here to view it at. A chest over here. We got a hoe, a diamond hoe at that. Oh my god. I don't care. I think I can get into there from a different side, so let's not mine into there yet. That's the map room, too, I think. Here we have a dining room. Fancy smancy. Can you not, though? Can you not do that? I'm dying. I think I just have to have that in my inventory, right? I don't have to like hold it. Get out of here. Come here. Oh, 
Your Vex, piece of crap. Alright, put him to nine. Easy. Donk. There's just gonna be another chest up there with nothing good in it, so we're gonna ignore it. Is this another fighting arena, y'all? How much fighting do you guys do? Okay. Well, in that case, um, gone there, went to that one. This will just mine out this area here then. Hello, everyone. Oh, yes, uh, a nice map. Crap. Other totem of them dying. Excellent. Not that it really matters if I have it or not. By the way. You guys are garbage. Human fucking garbage. Big old bed. Ooh. I've seen that before. You want some? Come here, Vex. Come here. Come here. Ah. That's right. Walk away. Walk away. Ooh, an Enderman. Have it. The Enderman got like really mad at me for some reason. It's like he knew I came there to kill him. The Vex is still trying to kill me. See that. Oh, okay, let's do one more sweep of this area. Make sure there's no hidden rooms. So, there's all this over here. Then I went to the map room because there's nothing else. And then I saw all this. And there's just the staircase here. Okay. Reason to be here. Okay, cool. Waste of time. Moving on. Another one of you? Come on. What the hell is that? What? What? Oh. Someone's casting magic on me. Ow. He is. Hold up. Run away downstairs quick. I didn't see there was two evokers there. You jerks. You're lucky. You're lucky that you guys can move through walls. There's the last of my food. I guess I could eat some golden apples, but I'd rather save those for right now. <clears throat> All right, let's go murder this guy. Out the way. Come on, come on. Y'all want some? Let's go. Oh my god, more Vex, really? Is this what we're doing? Some sort of altar here as well. Okay. Three. Get some distance here. I'm not going to be able to heal anymore because I don't have any food. Damn them. Oh my god. I hate Vex so much. Vex. Probably one of my golden apples here. Come on! What are y'all waiting for, huh? Don't freaking hide! Oh my god. I can't even put him into a corner. They just come at my legs, man. Okay, screw this. 
Where's the uh, where's the floor up? I'm just gonna ignore the vex and just continue through the mansion. Hey loser, what's up? Another map room, don't care. Creeper, oh man. <clears throat> hey, another one. At this point, it doesn't matter if I die because I have so many of these things. I can just. Where did that one die at? Was it over here? I thought it died right here, didn't it? What? Got him. Oh boy. I keep picking these freaking arrows I don't want. I can't keep running. That's one thing I cannot keep doing. Oh my god. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! God, I can't hit him! Hit one there. Maybe. God dang, back so much. That's right, die! That's right, die! Let's get this out of my inventory right now before I accidentally eat that. What should you eat gold? Be nice. I'm not just eating some gold. Okay, so that was that area, that area, that area, that area, that area. Is this the highest level? Isn't there supposed to be like a treasure room in these? Oh, it's over here. I think. I think it's right behind here. Anyway. Or it's just a freaking room filled with spider webs. Rude. Okay, well, that is the village, I guess. Not the village, the, the thing. That thing. Oh boy. Okay. <clears throat> Well, let's search this thing down here, whatever the heck it is, this white marker. Um, before I do that, though, what tools away? There we go. Let's fall off this roof and die. Yeah, doesn't that sound fun? This is bad. I eat like normal mushrooms. Did these not drop mushrooms? I thought they did. No, eat it. Eat it. Eat it. Whatever. Um. Soup! Beetroot soup. No. This is mushroom soup, right? Mush. Oh, stew. Sorry. I guess I need a bowl. I can make that. I just gotta get some brown mushrooms, and then I can uh, save myself with mushrooms. First of all, I need a uh, crafting bench. And I just make the bowls. Easy, and now I don't have to worry about that anymore. Let's go find a brown mushroom. Do one right over here. Easy peasy. All right. So we get that and that into there. One, two, three, four. Don't care about the rest of those mushrooms right now. Eat. Okay. Now I can combine these bowls. And uh, just kind of chill. Okay. Bam, health regeneration. Oh. Love to see it. Mushroom stew, okay. 
make another one to spare. Oop, right there. All right, what is this place? It looks pretty unconspicuous. Throw? No, it's just nothing. Okay. Efficiency not back. Jump boost. Uh, efficiency one. Paper. I don't even know why I'm looking at the enchantment books. I already have all my enchantment like, maxed. Oops, whatever. Cool. It was nothing. There was nothing for me there. Well, I believe that village has a waystone right there. So let's make our way up to that point. This point. Oh my god, a thousand meters away. And then we'll go back home, drop off all our loot, and go from there. Once again, my hunger is back. Okay. That, there we go. Okay. Can I put anything else away? Nope. Can't scroll my pickaxe. All right. Come across here. Easy peasy. Who knows? Maybe with our luck, we'll find something else at the uh, village that we can go to after that. I think once we do get back to the village and drop off our stuff, we'll call it there for today anyway. We've been exploring around a lot and haven't really found much, so I don't know. Maybe, maybe off stream, I just explore around and try to find some of those structures that we can take a look at. Also, if I can steal some waystones from villages. Um, and when I do that, I can just kind of put them down at the structures so we can just teleport to them as we feel like it, right? Uh, so that'll be a thing. I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah, there's no point in just suffering through exploration if there's going to be nothing to really like find right like i think for the last hour or two we've been searching for stuff and we found the labyrinth that's basically it and i guess we found a, a temple and the cleric but nothing too crazy right wouldn't it be some crazy stuff we just found like a cleric village here or something the, the cleric z thing i don't think i can go that way Got another mushroom stew real quick here. There we go. I'll keep eating them while I got them. Still 200 meters away, huh? I don't know why I was like, let's prioritize landing on the trees, not the water. I guess because the water is slower, but kind of dumb to me. <clears throat> anyway. Moving on, moving on. We're almost there. Careful of this giant hole in the ground. And the village is going to be right on the other side of this here grove of trees. Hello, villagers. Yes, it is me. Bow down and worship. Not perfect. It is a waystone. That is most excellent. So let's, uh... Right. Throw away this cobblestone. Right, so let's look at the map here real quick while we're waiting for this to... Oh my god, we have another labyrinth there. And one there. Really? Crazy. Will I use either of them, though? That is the question. And the answer is no. I'm not going to mess with the labyrinths right now. So, let's just move around a little more over here. Uh, 
a weird generation up in the air right there, ain't it? Speaking of up in the air, there's also that flying dungeon that we have not found yet. Okay. So that's this area, pretty, pretty much mapped here. Um, yeah, we have two more labyrinths. Of course, there's two right next to each other after we've seen nothing in terms of dungeons for forever. Uh, so that's great. Um, look at all the progress we made. We started here, went up here, found a cool island village, did all this nonsense. Didn't find anything in here that was of value. Uh, man, I don't know. I think... What should I explore next? Like... I guess the east would be the obvious choice, right? Because we have not explored very much east. Maybe east or south is the uh, area that we're going to find more stuff at. But anyway. Uh, far north is what that's going to be called. Okay. And we'll go ahead and go to... Hold on. Where's that labyrinth one at? It was just right there, right? Yeah. Oh my god, there's another labyrinth right there, too? Bro, there's four labyrinths right there. Whatever, we're going home. Home. Okay. We're gonna drop off our gear. We're gonna... do what we can. Ooh, I'm gonna grab these shears from here. They don't belong in there. Um... And... I'll need a bigger chest for this, don't I? Okay, well, let's toss this stuff here, there. Uh, honey block goes there. I can just toss the prismarine there too. Along with the dog tag. I'm gonna keep the golden apple, the potion of weakness. Do I have copper in this area? I do. There we go. How do I have two extra netherites? Give me this iron nugget. I don't need that. There we go. I'm just I'm gonna throw it on the ground. Uh, plants, I'll put that stuff there, along with a bowl, why not? Screw the bowls, I don't care. Put that there, and store, like, all, of, I guess, one of the alleys. We got that stuff for later. That. I don't have any spare torches, but that's fine. I'm going to hold on to these for right now. All right, food, 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 food. Where's one of my food chest? This one up here, right. So... What do I got? I got a bunch of pumpkin pie. Actually, I can probably make more pumpkin pies, right? Pumpkin pie. It is sugar, egg, and pumpkin. So yeah, I can make a bunch of pumpkin pies. Let's do that before we end things. So we'll get these. Sugar cane, we'll get the pumpkins. Sugar cane into sugar. Pumpkin pies, and bam. Now our, our bottleneck here is the sugar and the Pumpkins, but luckily for us, I'm gonna just remove the eggs from my hot bar because they're gonna play. Luckily for us, I have plenty of sugar cane. Okay. okay so I think we have enough sugar cane for a while now. Let's also. Harvest our pumpkins. Water, I don't want that. Then harvest these pumpkins. Perfect. Can I shapelessly craft this, I wonder? Oh, right, I don't have enough sugar cane. I'll put that there, that there, that there. Hell yeah. Oh, baby, we got so much pumpkin pie. I wonder what the best food is. Is there, like, a objectively best food? I know steak does, like, four, right? Throw that away. Um, I guess golden enchanted apples would technically be the best because they overheal your health, too. But honey, which does four. Cooked chicken does that much. Steak, eggs. What about rabbit stew? Rabbit stew, I think 
I think rabbit stew might be the best if we're uh, being honest. What about beetroot soup? How much does that do? Three? Food? I wish I could search by food. That'd be freaking nice, right? Is there a... I wonder if there's a thing here that's just food. Just food. Nope, the apples are section. That's too bad. Pork shop does four. Where's the steak? Salmon, cooked salmon, whatever. Uh, cooked steak does four. Yeah, like I thought. Pumpkin pie is about the same as steak, and pumpkin pie is easier to get. Damn, okay. What else we got here? I can't use the glistening. What about the golden carrots? Golden carrots only do three, but they do a lot of saturation. Dang. I wish we should make some golden carrots, huh? Maybe we'll do both. Golden carrots and add pumpkin pie, right? Oh, I need nuggies. Oh my god, they're even easier to make than I thought. Kind of. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay. Not that I need all these, but I'm gonna just turn this into sugar cane or sugar as well. That in there. Okay. So now I can use the pumpkin pie if I'm really down low on health. Then I can use the golden carrots if uh, it's the last little bit there. That way I hold out a long saturation. That's perfect. What about baked potatoes? They don't do much. Baked potatoes are more of our go-to originally. But is there anything else? Like uh, cooked rabbit. Rabbit stew is obviously ob objectively the best. It does the best in terms of healing in there. Mutton's not that great. The suspicious stew is what? How do you make suspicious? You just pick it up, I guess. Okay. This a disc fragment. Hmm. Any other food? We got the berries, of course. We got the honey. Um, I think everything else is getting demodded now. So yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. So yeah, it looks like uh, rabbit stew is the best, except for the fact that it doesn't stack. So yeah. I'm not exactly sure what I can do with these, but I'm going to hold on to them for now. In fact, I think I'm just going to put them in this chest just to have them there, right? Is it night? It's night. <coughs> well, let's sleep and call it a day. We, uh, I think, made a lot of progress today. We got full netherite. We got some exploration done. We got a couple more achievements. Actually, we got a lot of achievements. Pretty good. We did the labyrinth. We got the cleric. All good stuff, right? All right. Well, that'll be all for me, everyone. And uh, like I said at the beginning, I don't know why my model is uh, not wanting to move. Like, I can move a bunch, and you can see it. he's trying to move left and right, but he just doesn't want to do it anywhere else. I didn't do anything to it, so it had to have been like an update or something that caused it to... Uh, glitch out because of VTube Studio. So I'm going to look into that as well so I can actually move a little more. Because uh, I think if we look at my other guy here, he still moves around? He still moves around a lot. What the hell happened to the other guy? Weird. Bizarre. All right. Anyway, I'll mess with that. Uh, you know how we do it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, he doesn't want to move. Anyway, the, uh, it's real close, real close. Here we go. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Yes. Hello there. All right. Everyone, listen. Since I can't move my head, we'll just do this. All right. So, we shall go ahead. Yes, yes. And call things here. If you missed anything, you can check out the VOD, which will be uploaded to YouTube in a couple of days. Yes, of course. And be sure to like follow me on Twitch and YouTube and all that. Links for everything are in the description across every platform. Check it all out. Next time, we'll uh, pick up where we left off. Maybe just go kill the Ender Dragon. I think we have enough Ender Pearls now, maybe. Uh, we'll see. Who knows?
And uh, until next time, everyone, I will catch you later. Bye for now.